Hey first graders, I hope y'all had a great spring break, a little bit of rest. I know um, a lot of you were still doing a lot of schoolwork, so I'm very proud of y'all for that. So I'm going to do my best to try and get these Start the Question videos up first thing in the morning. So I'm sorry today's a little bit later. We had some meetings this morning discussing what learning starting next week is going to look like for the rest of the school year. Um, so that's still all kind of in the works. But this week we're going to continue doing that schedule just like we did that first week where you wake up, you brush your hair, you brush your teeth. You can still stay in comfy clothes. I am. But let's go ahead and get in that morning routine. So I hope that some of y'all have already had some time to like play with Legos, play with blocks, play with Play-Doh, something around the house. Um, kind of like how we do our morning tubs. And so now it's time for Target the Question in our schedule. So the very beginning of the week, before we even get into the problem for the day, I know that we always go back. Sorry, that's my um, roommate's dog shaking. So let me put him in. Here. Louie, come on. Come on. Come on in. Sorry, sorry. So before we even get started in our problem for the day, we need to look at our problem for the week and really dive into that. So this is all on Instagram, so I hope that you've seen it on there too. So Randy, Drew, and Reggie. So how many people? Three. So we're gonna deal with three people this week. Decided to build a train with blocks. Does it matter what they built the train with? Does it matter that it was blocks? Could it be Legos? Could it be Play-Doh? Yes. Does it matter that they built a train? No. So what do we call this? Fluff. Exactly. So Randy gets eight blocks. All right. So Randy, eight. Drew gets two sets of six blocks. So he has six and six. So that's doubles addition we're going to do. And then Reggie gets 11 blocks. So if you have not already tried to solve the Monday problem, I want you to pause this video. And I want you to try and work on it by yourself. If you get stumped, come back on here. We're going to walk through it. But I really want you all to try and do it on your own. Um, this is big second grade math, so I know that you can do it. We've practiced this all year long. So if you have already practiced, you've done your best for problem number one, Let's go ahead and open our B books. Remember, you need to use the next page. I know some of you might be running out of room in your B books, so using any piece of paper will be fine too. So we're gonna divide our paper into four sections, just like we always do. So hopefully your paper looks just like this. Remember, you can use a pencil, you can use a marker, whatever you want. We use pencils so that we can erase, but if you only have markers like I do at my house. I forgot to bring home pencils, silly Miss Harrison. Um, you can definitely use a marker. So let's look at our problem for today. I'm looking on my Instagram. How many blocks does Drew have all together? So I go back to my original problem and I see that Drew gets two sets of six. So remember that doubles addition. That's we're gonna do six plus six. So I'm gonna say Drew, two sets of six. Why do I write this at the top of my paper? If you said, which I hope, so that we don't forget, we don't get distracted, you're right on. So two sets of six. So I already told you it's doubles addition. Why are we doing doubles addition? Let's think about that. If he has two sets of six, we're trying to find the total of that number. When we see how many blocks does Drew have all together, that should go ding, 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 all together we are adding. So two sets of six. So I'm gonna do six plus six equals my unknown. Does your number sentence look just like that? I hope it does, I hope it does. So six plus six equals my unknown. So we've practiced doubles addition a lot, so I hope that you could subitize this, I hope that you could do it in your mind, but if you couldn't, there's some different ways that we can break it up. So we know when I see six plus something equals 10, we know our 10 facts really well. Now six plus what gives us 10? If you said four, you got it. So six plus four gives us 10. But am I doing six plus six? six plus four? No, I'm doing six plus six. And I know that six equals four 
plus two. Is that correct? Yeah. So, I need to then add 10 plus two. Why am I adding 10 plus two? I'm adding 10 plus two because I first added six plus four, which gives me 10. But I know that I need two more to add to four to get to six. So then 10 plus two gives me, you said 12. You've got it. So six plus six equals 12. 12 what? This is a word problem. So do we ever just leave it with a number answer? No. So two sets of six what? Six blocks. So I'm gonna say that Drew had 12 blocks. And I'm gonna circle my answer. I hope this is what yours looks like too. If you did not need to do these steps in the middle, you did not have to. That's just going through and reminding why doubles addition is the way it is. Remember, if we ever are struggling with even double digit addition, always go back to those 10 facts. You know your 10 facts, those are rock solid. So go back to those 10 facts. If you feel like being out of school has made you forget some of those 10 facts, review them at home. Do memory, play go fish with 10s. Um, there's lots of different strategies you can do to review those at home. If you also want to practice your doubles addition fluency, something you can so do at home too. Get a piece of paper and cut it up and then make kind of flashcards. One plus one and on the back right, two. Two plus two on the back right, four. Practice those doubles additions, you can do it. I'm really proud of you. Check back on here first thing in the morning and we're gonna do problem two, so Tuesday's problem. Have a great rest of your day. Do some schoolwork, also play. This is time that you are getting at home. Um, enjoy this time with your family. Send pictures. I want to see what y'all are doing. All right. Love you all.